Hey everyone, welcome. Thank you very much for joining me in this video. And I promise you I have a company you might never have heard of before. In fact, you might want to know about this company. I think you should. So far this year in 2022, let's just talk about something briefly that you already know. You have already witnessed it and you have seen it in your portfolio. You have seen that things are down year to date, right? If you were to uh, compare everything throughout the whole year so far, definitely down most of the people, right? Most of the people are down. There are the exceptions or, or more than just exceptions, but there are people who are uh, up this year and then there's others who are down. What if you had invested in a stock? Now I did talk about previously uh, in another video where I said that guys, remember when I told you earlier in the year about two ETFs? No, I'm not gonna talk about ETFs this time but a unique stock like this is unique because you know when we look at equities when we look at stocks when we look at a company year to date most of them are down look at google look at meta look at everything is down year to date everything is down right um, but this one's up this one's been ripping all year long all year long mullen investors have been stuck like crazy, you know, uh, you know, Mullen, 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 this. I'm back holding, I don't care. I'm devoted to Mullen, this and this and that. The stupidest things on earth. But you know, when you, you know, if you had put your money in this one, if you had put your money in the two ETFs I mentioned earlier in the year, which both, by the way, are over 185% up year to date. I've made videos about them earlier in the year, February and June right and both of those ETS are up 185 percent year to date plus if you had put your money in this stock that said you'd be uh, you'd be a superstar all right you would be a superstar mullen investing would look like absolute crap to you the comment section i need to turn off the comments they're gonna beat me all right uh so yeah anyways uh obviously you're free to invest in anything you like and when i talk about mullen i'm joking around I like to joke around with Mullen. I think it's fun, right? But I don't criticize. I honestly, seriously, when, when you know, if I get you know talking serious, I don't criticize people for what they invest in. But anyways, uh, diehard Mullen uh, investors. I'm just uh, I like to mess with your stock. All right, so Unum is what we're gonna talk about. Unum. I think I spell I, I pronounce it right. Uh, it's a really unique stock. Let me show you real quick. Um, I'm sorry. Before I before I show you the stock, Moom is the proud sponsor of this video. If you want up to uh, actually, there's a I'm sorry, there's a difference. Today, yeah, we have the 10th anniversary. I forgot the 10th year anniversary of Mumu. Yes, it came up. So you actually get, I should have put the slide for the 10th anniversary. You actually get 10 free bucks, uh, to a, 10, a $10 gift card for signing up with any amount. You don't have to put anything. I mean, it's up to you. You can put 50 cents, whatever you want. You get a $10 gift card, which is awesome and you get up to 15 free stocks worth up to 3,000 some dollars. I think it's awesome. I think it's a great deal. So if I get the slide you're looking at right now, just go by the words I said, that is the 10th year, 10th year anniversary for Mumu. And if you're from Australia, there's a link uh, in the comment section below for Australian users. So Unum Group is what we're gonna talk about. UNM is the ticket symbol market cap, $8.72 billion. Uh, and I'll show you the chart in a little bit. Life and health insurance company, and by the way, life and health insurance companies have been ripping. They've been doing really, really, really good. They're great stocks. Uh, so life and health insurance company, Unum Group, together with its subsidiaries, helps investors protect their finances and financial future, offering disability and life insurance policies, supplemental and voluntary products, including dental and vision and group pensions, operating in the US, UK, and Poland, Unum sells its benefit uh, products primarily to employers for the benefit of employees. So Unum Group is trading at an attractive discount. Yes, it still is. All right, it's still, it was at a better discount at the beginning of the year. At the beginning of the year, I must say it was an amazing discount. I'll show you the chart, but it's still an, it's, it's still an attractive discount. It really is in my opinion, I'll show you why. So Unum's forward PE ratio of 7.44 is why are you kidding me? That's stunning, amazing. That's a negative 28.76% and a forward peg of 0 0.49 is a negative 55.9 difference to the sector. Obviously, that means that this stock is the one of the most undervalued stocks in its sector and at the same time, so stunning and financials are awesome. 
Year to date, UNM has experienced a nearly 75% price increase year to date, actually even more than that. Over the last uh, year, over 60%. We're talking about nearly 80% increase this year, year to date, it's insane. And it had you put those two ETFs plus this one, right? 180% on those ETFs, each one, each, each of those ETFs went over 180%. Plus an 80% on this one, you would have been on, on, on like Bloomberg and CNBC as the greatest retail investor in history, right? Uh, UNM outperforms its sector peers quarterly and has continued its bullish momentum since 2020, with many analysts calling the stock overbought as investors are actively purchasing shares, driving the price higher with the impressive earnings and above market secure. UNM stock lifted its full year operating income guidance after Q2 earnings beat. Uh, yeah, the Q2 earnings were awesome, guys, very awesome. They, I mean, they just destroyed the what the analyst estimates were. Um, now, it's trading at $44.43. You're looking at the annual uh, revenue right here, for example. 2013, they had $10.3 billion in revenue, not million, billion. 2014, it went up 1.5%, 1.9%, up 2.9%. 2017, up 2%. You, every year, every year, constant, constant, constant increase. 2021 was a negative 8.72, but 2022 is actually a rebound. So we're going back in the green. But every single year is just stunning, huge, huge amounts of uh, you know revenues over 10 billion dollars. You're looking at a screenshot of my Discord called Bull Market Watch. I mean, daily we're coming out with picks that are making money. If you're looking to be profitable, if you're looking to find profitable picks, learn how to invest in a lot of things. Um, you know, we you, know, you might want to join. It's it's in in my Discord. We offer swing trades, IPO trades, long term trades. You have the access to the latest, latest all new exchange trade funds coming out, Catalyst news, uh, Sunday videos that I put out every Sunday of stunning stocks. Yesterday I talked about a stock on my Discord at 17 bucks. Today it's over 21. I think it's uh, it's uh, so it's amazing the profit there. And then the day before and so on. I remember mean, today I sold five or six stocks that were profitable that we you know that I mentioned two days ago. It's awesome, awesome. I mean the bull market watch on Discord is about bullish ways to make it's just if you want to join the link will be in the comment section below or the join button under the screen so forty four dollars forty three cents and now look you're looking at the uh one year chart of the stock one year chart used to be 24 actually even lower than that 21 let's say uh it's at forty four dollars and forty three cents now how much room does it have in my opinion easy 55 because it's done that many times before. As many companies see inflation eating away at profits, which subsequently puts dividends at risk of being cut, right? Insurance companies tend to have more stable earnings and they don't have their dividends, you know, being risk, uh, risk of being cut. So, you know, if you're looking at a company that can grow their stock, is stunning, doing well, and give you dividends, this is it, I think, but you'll have to do your own due diligence. Recurring premiums and investing them in up and down markets until a benefit has to be paid allows them to generate additional income. Um, the analysts are giving this actually a slight, um, they're giving it a slight hold, but not a buy or a strong buy. For me personally speaking, I don't care what the analysts say, but I do present it to us. Uh, entertainment purposes someone asked me yesterday Mike do you believe in this analyst ratings I don't they're just for entertainment purposes for me purposes personally speaking but there are people who uh, like to see the analyst ratings and that's why I show them so they say slightly of a hold towards a buy I say it is still a strong buy as the stock can go from 44 to 55 58 bucks still it still has another 13 15 bucks to grow in my opinion Right. The low they give is 34, the average 41, and the high 50. The dividend is $1.26 annual, which is stunning, right? So it's a quarterly dividend of 33 cents. And with that being said, that's the stock I want to share with you. If you feel that this stock is trading too high for you and so on, look, you can always put on your watch list or not. I'm not telling you that you should. Um, and if it ever falls down lower and dips a little more, 
uh, and you know it dips uh, at a low, you know, at a lower level, then you can reconsider and do do your due diligence then. Overall, though, I'm not telling you what to do or should you buy this or should you not. Um, I do like to share stocks with you guys because I love doing that. I mean, I love investing. I love trying to find new companies. I love trying to find all sorts of investment opportunities. That's what I do daily. I spend many, many hours doing that. My uh, subscribers on Discord know that I'm with them from 4 a.m. in the morning all the way. I don't know, like uh, many times I'm six, seven hours straight on Discord uh, in the morning, starting pre-market hours and into the regular hours. Uh, uh, you know, trying to help each other out and I'm trying to help them. They help me. And um, then after that, once I'm done with this, where I'm still researching for stocks, I, in, you know, I live in Greece and Greek time. I stay up until 3 a.m. in the morning, uh, almost every night. I like that. I mean, I just enjoy it. I enjoy what I do. I enjoy finding stocks and so on. And when I do find a stock that I feel that is great, I like to share it with you. Yeah. So that's that. I spoke, I speak a lot sometimes. Thank you very much for watching this video, guys. Take care.